Today I'm excited to share with you my experience in converting this Poseidon Redwood from a square taper to a two-piece crank set with an external bottom bracket. I'll walk you through the process so you can see if it's worth your time and investment. And let me take some time to explain why the two-piece crank system is often considered superior to the square taper system. There are several key reasons that contribute to its advantages. The two-piece crank system boasts a wider spindle diameter compared to square taper systems. This design allows for a thinner, lighter, and more torsionally stiff spindle. This means improved power transfer and overall performance during your rides. Moving on to external bearings, the two-piece crank system comes out on top again. These parts can be made with larger ball bearings, ensuring better longevity and durability. You'll enjoy longer lasting performance without the hassle of frequent replacements. Another advantage of the two-piece crank system is its improved side-to-side -side rigidity. The external bearing's wider placement achieves this feat, providing you with enhanced stability during your rise and better power transfer. In summary, the two-piece crank system stands out with its stiffer and lighter design compared to traditional square taper systems. While measuring stiffness can be challenging, many cyclists, including myself, have felt a noticeable difference, especially when climbing out of the saddle. Having said all that, the square taper design is elegant and has worked well for decades. Here are the essential tools you'll need. Check the description for links. You'll need gloves, pedal wrench, square taper socket, crank puller, external bottom bracket wrench, eight millimeter wrench for removing bolt on square taper crank arms, five millimeter wrench for tightening the left crank arm on the two piece crank, chain ring nut wrench, optional, but can be helpful for swapping chain rings along with the five millimeter wrench. To keep things concise, I won't show you the removal of the old crank set and bottom bracket in this video. You can find plenty of online sources for that. However, I do want to give you a quick word of caution about the pedal and bottom bracket threads, as some of them are reversed. I highly recommend removing the pedals from the bike before you proceed. Doing so will give you more leverage during the process, especially because pedals are designed to tighten while riding. During my test ride, I noticed an immediate improvement in the stiffness of the cranks. And although it might be a placebo effect, pedaling seemed noticeably more efficient. I think I could also sense a reduction in weight, but I'm not certain if I could distinguish it in the blind test. Nevertheless, I'm really pleased with how the final installation looks. While it may not be huge, I managed to save around 340 grams, which is approximately 0.75 pounds. The comparison was done using the same Pro Wheel crank series, so it gives an interesting comparison of the two systems with similar crank arms. In conclusion, with a weight savings of only 340 grams, I wouldn't recommend this conversion based on weight savings alone. However, the performance improvements in stiffness, efficiency, and the aesthetic look of it makes me recommend this for most people. Plus, the whole project was fun and very rewarding. So if you're into tinkering on your bike and you're looking for ways to level up your ride, I highly recommend this conversion. Happy tinkering. Oh, and before you go, a little favor. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Your support means the world to me. Thanks for watching.